So now I feel like the bathroom is just like a great place to come vlog because it's where it all began, where the first vlog began. Well, that's actually not true. Oh, that's not true. I started before I knew I was pregnant. Anyway, I like it in here. It's one of my favorite rooms in my house. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on, but let me just start with like today stuff. I have not been physically active. I've had a lot of constant underlaying like nausea. I haven't had any vomiting, thankfully. It just is uncomfortable and it's not making me feel good to do any movement. We've been walking around the block, but that's about it for my physical activity. I've danced a couple times. I've worked out minimally a couple times, but I am seven weeks, probably eight weeks in, and I feel like I already look like I have a huge belly bump. I have been eating way more grains and starchy foods than I normally do. I'm usually really heavy on like the leafy greens and, and the vegetables, and that just has not been appetizing for me right now. And I'm giving myself grace and just doing what I know feels right. Still eating good quality food, just different types of food that I normally eat. Um, but I want, I know physical activity is so important and my schedule is so messed up right now. Like I literally don't have a regular schedule. I'm not going to be teaching or dancing anywhere near as I normally do. Um, so my, I don't know. It's just, I'm kind of like off of my normal kilter, which is kind of cool because right now I can create a curriculum for myself, a daily curriculum that's fully in alignment with the prepping of my, of, of my baby. <laughs> um, so I deal really well with like expert advice and accountability through like professionals. <laughs> um, so I reached out to Modi Physiotherapy, which is a local physiotherapy office here in LA that I love. And I've been training with them for so long. I know they deal really well with like prenatal and, and post, uh, babies stuff with the body. So I reached out to them and asked them if they had a PT that I could work with that knows a lot about how to set my body up for having a baby and also set it up so that after I have the baby that it's not going to be like um, difficult for me to hold the baby with my upper body because I don't have tons of upper body strength. So I also want to prep my back and my shoulders and my arms to be able to carry weight because I don't normally carry a lot of weight with my upper body. I have been hearing that it's not so great to work the abdomen when you're pregnant. And so I've been staying away from a lot of uh, core activation and the PT who's also six months pregnant, which is so fun because she's like ahead of me in her journey. So she's giving me a lot of, um, you know, clarity and calm, like, yes, I totally understand. I just went through that. So it's really a nice trajectory for us to be on together. Um, so she was telling me how doing lumbar work, glute work at lower abdomen work is actually really, really super important, which totally makes sense because she was telling me like, your lower abdomen supports so much of the weight when it comes out. And if that's not strong, it's actually gonna start becoming really hard on your back. So it's really good to build your lower abdomen. We were working on a lot of like um, uh, lumbar stuff and stuff with my hips, being able to like, she was saying like a lot of your, a lot of things that happen is you start to loosen because the body is starting to prep for obviously giving birth and having the hips open and have the canal be like, you know, loose enough to give birth. So your but your whole body does it earlier than you think it would. It just starts to loosen. So she's like, we really do need to maintain that strength. Right now, I feel like if I start jumping up and down, I might throw up. Like there's no high impact exercise right now that seems like appealing to me. So it's very low impact and it's all about stability and stabilizing and isolating certain things, which is really, I'm really all about that. So now I have a new daily ritual that I'm gonna do. Also, I'm gonna keep doing my upper body workouts that I've been given by my PT a while ago to make sure I maintain a strong back. Um, she was talking about like the traps. It's all really important to maintain the upper body strength. So you're, you know, you're strong. I'm strong when I'm holding a new human in my arms all day, every day. Holy hell. Whew. So that's what's happening today. I also have had a talk with a midwife because I want to do an at-home birth. And I'm going to have probably at least four other consultations with different midwives just to get the right vibe going. 
I've learned a lot. I won't even talk, I'll, I'll just keep it simple. This session was about the PT, but I just had to share that I've already had one talk about it. The more I talk about it, the more real it gets. And I actually talked to my belly for the first time the other night, which is really special, creating that dialogue. Oh yeah, my baby is the size of a small sweet pea right now. A small, tiny sweet pea, and it's already starting to grow um, facial structure, and the heart is starting to beat. I can't even fathom that, the size of a pea. The size of a pea, y'all. Wow. I'm just, I'm so excited about the journey of the body and the journey about how incredibly magical this, this facility is. Life is. Wow. It's very mind-blowing. That's it. Signing off.